Welcome back to Log Cabin Gaming and we continue our Warhammer Quest Shadows Over Hammerhall adventure. Previously on Warhammer Quest. Last week the adventurers managed to track down the Sorcerer Lord and when they thought they killed him he disappeared in a puff of smoke. The team later tracked him down in the house of Venago so they set up an ambush but as fate transpired against them it was them that was ambushed again and again and again. We join our band of merry men on the cusp of what could potentially be the final ambush that puts the nail in this coffin. Will they survive this final onslaught or will they continue and do greater deeds? Stay tuned to find out. Excellent, right, guys, we are going to pick up where we left off last week, which was quite to the cliffhanger. If you remember, you were in the auction hall, you tracked down the sorcerer, uh, who was the guy behind the mask. Um, and then when you went to confront him in the auction hall, basically just piles and piles and piles of acolytes and blood reavers kind of started streaming through the windows. That's when you started cheating, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? That's that's yeah. very slanderous. Slanderous right there. Um so yes, uh if you kind of if we want to do a quick update, uh Ross, you're on two renown and you have got skills, three skills now because you're on team achievement level two. You've got faint, which you've actually started uh, to put to good use trickster and armor of the faith which is always useful and you've got these seeds yeah. of the every artifact zero mm -hmm. gold nobody's got gold um because we've just come down from cinderfall <clears throat> to do this andy you have got it looks like zero renown it looks like you've just leveled up is that right mm, no but i don't think i killed anyone i think everyone was just dead before i did anything last time. right okay so, yeah. so that might make sense so you are on iron you've got your skills iron jaw unnatural fortitude and visionary but you have got the ring of the slumbering king so whilst you don't heal at the end of every round you do have the uh, earthquake uh missile launcher yes. as it were what what was my new skills sorry i can't uh remember. visionary which was let's recap that visionary this hero can use one lock destiny dice in each of their turns oh okay um so this does not lock any remaining yeah. destiny dice so yeah it kind of it gives you access to one more destiny dice uh nick i've got you down as eight renown yep that's what i've got here on my note yep uh with deadly shield destined soul and flurry of blows which is coming in quite useful and you've also got seeds of the ever root heal one yeah. at the end of each turn Harris, you have got six renown but you are on a grievous injury i'm afraid indeed you I are think. just sitting tight for now but yeah but well i don't know it might, it might not be as bad as you think uh, your skills are executioner eldritch might and siphon power and your treasures are seer filter <laughs> which you will never use well, maybe and Malik, back from this with you, yeah yeah you'll be like thank god maliki's yeah. hateful knife and you've also got seeds of the ever root yeah right okay let's um let's have a look at where we left you guys right so if you remember uh we were just about to start <laughs> i believe ross's turn as the cogsmith mm -hmm. um but with the destiny dice rolled, uh, all individuals, an unexpected event happened, which was an ambush, which then happened uh, immediately. So you kind of, you got surprised. I was surprised, were you surprised? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that thing. Surprised. So that's where we left it. So I don't think it's as dire as you guys think. You're not in a great position, but it's, it's because of the limited space, it's not that tragic. And because it's only the ambush that's happening, you're not going to be attacked by everyone in the room, just the raiding party. Just 10 of them. Yes, but nobody's going to attack um, 
Ross, because he's already surrounded, <laughs> just <laughs> basically oh, le leaning on acolytes. They're basically just bouncing off each other <laughs> for turn after turn. Um, it's a bit like mallet to mallet, if you remember that. You guys have got I foam do. mallets and you're just God, bouncing off each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, <laughs> so if you guys are ready, shall we start the ambush? Go for it. Right. It's like you're at school and someone just shouts bundle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rock in the corner. Um, is is there any merit? Do you think in trying to or suddenly go for just the sorcerer? Will everything end when that happens? Or are we just too gummed up to do it? It, it will. None of us can get to him. Is the problem? Yeah. And you can't shoot him while he's got his bodyguard next to him. His bodyguard taking some wounds. I'm sure. I think I hit. Yeah, he has. I think, I'm sure he has. Yeah, he did. I think ever he since we've been bodyguards. in combat. Mm. Uh, it doesn't look like he's got any wounds. You've killed one of them. Uh, yeah, we killed one of them straight away, and the yeah. other one I think took some wounds. Oh, I haven't got his wound counter here. We'll have to have a look. I'll look at the um. The footage. It's next. not the biggest of deal because we're not going to get to him. <laughs> right. yeah. It's just look, well, we're just going to pick up a little bit more renown, drop, and then we'll reset. Well, it's it's not we'll... actually that bad to be honest, because at the moment you're, I mean, Nick's in the worst position, but he's on full health and will heal one, maybe two at the end of the turn. So, um, <clears throat> ye of little faith, come on, guys, you can do this. Where's all the team camaraderie? We used it on the last 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. <laughs> You've had a week's respite. You should be pumped, ready to go. Okay, so this guy is going to attack the Griff Hound. Sadly, we could only get one guy on him. Hitting on fours. Uh, one hit. Now, is he as tanky as last week? He has a five up save. It's a four. Oh. No. So he does take one more wound, which is fine. It's not fatal yet. How many wounds has he taken now? He's taken four now. Oh, but that, okay. That's the last guy to attack him. Yeah, we just healed some up, but yeah. Yeah, then we're going to put one guy on, on Andy there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think, I honestly, I think this is fine. Uh, one hit. Andy, you have got a five up save, don't you? Yeah. Rerolling ones and twos. Oh, yeah, very good. It's a three, I'm afraid. <laughs> you take one, but you're actually on full health anyway. So you're only mm. on three. You've got three wins left. And then Nick, again, who's a bit of a tank anyway. I don't think this is going to do too much to you. So only two hits. And you have got a four up saved. Uh, you make one. Do you have any re-rolls of one? No. There you go. That's it. That's it. You've only kind of cool. taken three wounds between you. Mm -hmm. And that is the end of the ambush. <coughs> um, I guess, actually, these guys could shoot. So we'll do three shots into the Griff Hound. Three shots at three. One hit. He needs a five. It's a six. Ah, no. It's a six. There you go. That's it. The end of that he ambush. Can't heal himself anymore, can he? Sorry? He, he can't heal himself. He, he never away. could. But, um, no, he. I mean, you guys can heal him. He's, he's still like, it's not a grievous injury. Yep. No, but I mean, he can't, he doesn't get any dice. Uh, he can have destiny dice. Yeah. yeah. We haven't got any. You've got five. You've got all of them. Oh, I thought we'd lose them all. No, you no. Know, if they were all say if they were all common, sorry, if they were all pairs yeah. and triples, you'd lose. Right. It's you still get the thing where because they're individual, they go into the destiny them. thing. But because every single one was individual, it just triggers the unexpected event. You don't lose the um. So we've got a six there. So that's oh, good. that's helpful yeah. for earthquakes right. or stunning. Yeah. Which Honestly, you guys are in, more. you're not in a bad position. You just have to do a bit more work. All right, um, over to you, Ross. Cool. Timmy Mallet. Yeah. So we need to get your action dice. <laughs> Time to get your rubber mallet out and start bopping. 
Rubber axes. Two, oh, mate, two sixes, sad times. A five and a two. You okay. almost need you almost need your mates to come over and uh, <laughs> free you up. It's a shame starting off at that end, isn't it? I thought my yeah. weird save skill would make me tanky enough to do it because I stepped into combat straight away. I've been useless. Um, could you remind me what my faint skill is, please? Yes, yeah, so it's a two Sorry. up, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, let me have a look. And you add you two up, and if you get it, you add two to your rolls against another. That's opponent. right, yeah. So you, um, you, hit, you pick one adversary, you roll. It's basically a one plus action on a two. Yep. You don't do any damage, but you add plus two to any future attacks against them. Fine, okay. And um, uh, either of the people I'm in combat with are wounded at all? They're no, fresh. they're all they're all fresh, I'm afraid. Okay, um, I will um, use faint against one of them and attack three times, please. Okay, so... If it goes off. It does go off, just. <laughs> I got a two, and then you got three <laughs> times... Um, are they all the same guy? No, so you got Blood Reaver, Blood Reaver, and Acolyte. And the Blood Reavers are with the same weapons, so... Blood Reaver sounds most useful to go against, is it? Um... Because they hit harder. Have any of them got three wounds? They've got, got three? They've got four wounds. Everyone's got four yeah. wounds. Yeah. Actually, you're right. Um, the Blood Reaver would be the best one because if you take one of them out, he'll lose his re-rolling hits because they won't. Oh, okay. They won't have Makes the, um, you know, the uh, yeah. weight of numbers um, trigger. So, if you want to go against one of the Blood Reavers, yes, please. Uh, so that's a five, a five. What are you hitting on? You're hitting on four plus two. So yeah, that's three hits. Yeah, I was going to say. How much um, damage does uh, the axe do? The axe does oh. one damage. Okay, so you can't kill him this turn. No, but you have got a... Um, you've done all your actions, but you've got a massive pool of destiny dice. Yeah, I could spoil myself and um, take the two. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. yeah. yeah. yeah that's a good idea. Yeah. There's well, an idea to take him down. Well, there's a what one, actually. Those? Do you want to take the one? Yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, please. I won't. I won't mess about with any others. But I'm not sure. three. There you go. You kill him. Hey. Wow. Good. Good nice thinking. one. Um, For now. I wonder if it's worth taking the middle guy out there, Ross. So if you do. Uh, I, yeah, I can't quite see. So. Um, yeah. Go for it. I'll trust your judgment. Because if you do manage to get away, you because you don't have much movement, you can try and get in a, away. So you can do a. Um, Trigger a shot off. Yep. Uh, there's a trap on that square. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. I think. I think the whole party's uh, nerves are on edge as it is, Hus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are up to three. There you go, Ross. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a good turn, actually. Yeah. Into hands. All right. Uh, Black Art Fleet Master, you are up. Six, 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 six. One and a six. One and a six. You've got three dice. Uh, three, a three, and a five, I'm afraid. Mm. You've got a six from the Destiny pool. Use that for sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's start with that then. Um, okay. So you are starting two. Let's lock the five away. You're going to start doing the earthquake. Mm -hmm. uh, that hits on a three, does it? Yep, D3 damage. All right, so we'll start off here with the Blood Reaver. The it's only on my square, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Not the yeah, other but half. To, the but to be honest, practically everyone's in your square. You kind of want to be <laughs> feeling this out anyway. It's a two, it's a miss. Then the other Blood Reaver. It's a five. He takes one damage. One. Mm. Uh, there's an acolyte there. It's a three. You do get it. He takes two. This guy's already got two marks on him. So let's have a look. You do hit him. So as long as you get a three, you'll kill that guy. It's a four. You kill this guy mm. here. 
So you get a renown. I'm liking this. If you, Ali, if you've got a black dice and a red dice, you might yeah. as well just roll them together. The red one is for hits and the two and the black oh, one is I for see. damage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll just mark Andy's renown. Uh, two you got. The, uh, you are back to one. I have a bonus one by the end of it as well. Yeah, sure. Right. Uh, okay, black dice is for the hit. Red is for the wounds. This guy here. Uh, nope. That's a shame because it would have been three. This guy here. Nope. This guy here. Come on. Three and a two. Very good. This guy here. Three and a three. Very good. And finally, this guy here. Three and a three. Nice one. Very good, Andy. Sweet. Definitely so, banish for now. That's not bad. So there you go. You could pick off a few guys. What, is my murder hook a four up? It's it a is. four, yeah. Yeah. Well, who am I in combat with? I. I uh, everyone, tell. literally everyone is touching you. <laughs> You're in a room of men touching you. Um, apart from these three, you, you've, you're actually adjacent to five guys. And these so, two here have got one wound left on them. And these two, yeah. he's got two left. He's got three left. He's untouched. So I guess I might as well use the two threes on the, the one damage yep. attack. On okay. People with one wound yeah. left. Yeah, hitting on a three. Sad times. This one here. Does he re-roll ones and twos? No. Early saves. Oh. So you kill this one here. No. So that is another renown. Use a destiny dice as well. He's got a five as well, so he does have a murder hook. So is, yeah, it, yeah. is there someone we take taking two damage? So I'm you've got some, um, you've got some, yeah, he's got two damage marked. He's got one damage marked. Because the murder hook's two damage. I'll do the murder hook on someone who's taken two. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and then the griffon and has two damage. Pick off the other mm. guy. Yeah. Um. All right, so murder hook on the guy with two damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. It's a three, so you hit. But he's dead. But he's dead, yeah. There's no bonus, so that's fine. So that's another renown for you. Does that has that trigger your thing? Yeah, I, yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, that was that triggered with the um, earthquake, didn't it? Yeah. 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 All right, so you're up to four renown. Uh and then unless you want to use a destiny dice. So, do you want to um how many destiny dice have we got? You've got, there's two left plus one locked. Three. You've got a skill that lets you unlock one. Yeah, so I could use one, left. but whether it's because well, I don't know what don't know what's best really. Nick, really, you're quite good with your two damage attack as well, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but I can only use if there's two destiny dice. If there's three destiny dice left. And you use one, then I can only I can use one, and then the other one locks, and then the Griffhound can use one. So you, you might as well mm, use one each, un, uh, unless we want to use two on the Griffhound, one to hit, one to heal, and one for it to attack. It's up to you. I don't think it makes a great deal of difference. That yeah, that could be tactical if the guy behind the Griffhound only has one wound left. But well, there's one in front of the Griffhound as well. But then it has to attack the Griffhound. So up to you. If you want, if you want to use one, go for it. Yeah, go for, go for it. And you want to roll anyway. All right. Let's just yeah. try and kill someone. You hit on threes, and I hit on fours. So you're you're better. Let's let's try and take someone out who's touching the Griffhound. I guess this one, yeah. So he's got more chances of surviving. Yeah. It's a four. Right. Well done. You kill him. That was quite a good turn. <laughs> Mm. Got Andy. Nice. Up to five renown. He started off with zero renown that turn. Yeah. Um, Hopefully. 
So that locks the four. So, I mean, your skill does let you use another Renown, or are you passing no, it? No, I'll, I'll pass it. Okay. Right, hopefully Nick can get a six. Mm. That would be nice if I can at least stun them. Well, actually, it's the Griffhound's turn, so... Okay. Huss, do you want to do the Griffhound? Oh, yeah. Man. Uh, we'll sadly, the sadly, you don't roll any dice, but... Um, depends what you so guys want to do. Guess you could use dust to heal one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's all it's going to be because the other one's going to lock, then, isn't it? Yeah. So you'll heal one. Um, yeah, you you got a turn, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm carrying. I think I'm carrying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Come on, Nick. You need a six. Three sixes. Three sixes. And get a six. Hey. Two and a three. So let's do some stunning, I guess. Yep. Are you, just before we start, are you stunning people who've already done? Does that make sense? Um, the they, had they, sur turn. they surprised us and had a free attack, but that's not the adversary turn, is it? So they get to go again. Yes. yes, they get to go again. Fine. Okay, sorry, yeah. Why not? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so let's do some stunning. Some stunning. Right. This guy here, you are stunning on a four. I oh, knew you'd get a six. Here we go. Ah. It starts. D3. So um, the bodyguard six again. So if he wasn't if he wasn't injured, he certainly is now. Cool. Um, the guy next to him. Mm -hmm. It's a one. Damn. Uh, this guy here. It's a three. This guy here. It's a two. Ugh. This guy here. It's a four. You do get him, so he gets stunned. Yep. That's not terrible. I'm one stun short of getting a, a renown, though. Which yeah. is a shame. So you've got a couple of um, things to do. Right. Just have a dice up to five. So can I use... So there's... Both the guys who are hurt have been stunned, right? Uh, no. So this guy was hurt before. He's stunned. Yep. This guy wasn't hurt, but he's now hurt and stunned. There's a guy here who's got three wounds left and he's not stunned. Okay. Uh, let me have a go at him with this, the two. This guy here. So the blood, yeah, the blood reader just, who's been wounded but isn't stunned. Just to let you know, this guy will have to attack the Griffhound. Yeah, but so will the guy next to him. So he's, one of them... he's he's stunned anyway, so he's not going to be doing any attacking. Oh, true. Well, unless. Um... Okay. Well, shall I? So I ignore the stunned one. The stunned ones are the one that have to attack the Griffhound and just go for the acolytes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Unless there's any tactical, unless you can bash a path for Andy to whiz out. I can't. I can't really see how how pinned everyone is. I thought. If killing yeah. a single model will allow Andy to leap to oh. everyone's rescue, it, well, he'd still, I still would think he'd still be pinned diagonally. But it's I thought if I kill that one, yeah. But I Andy, thought, um, if I kill that, if I kill that one that's been wounded, then even if we don't clear out the rest of them, when the next blood reaver goes, he loses his rerolls. But if he's stunned, he's not going to be doing anything for a while. Mm -hmm. So I might as well start on the ones that haven't been stunned and just try and. Okay. Work them down. Yep. Okay. So, so, Blood Reaver yeah, and the Acolyte. The Blood Reaver who hasn't been stunned. Yes. This way. He's wounded though, isn't he's he? Got, he's got and one he has wound. To, he has to attack. He has to attack the Griffhound, doesn't That's he? That's right. Yes. So, yeah. So one of the one of the acolytes who hasn't been stunned, stunned. or wounded. Okay. Though. On a four. So. It's a six. It takes two damage. Uh huh. Same again. And then, flurry of blows. Oh yeah! Very good. It's a four. I think that, what does that do? No, nope, that misses. Okay, so I'll, I'll go again with the other dice. Okay. 
It's a two, I'm afraid. Okay. So and then as the, the last to go. <clears throat> so shall I use the destiny dice to have a swing or shall I put it on the deadly shield? I think I might do that. Shield. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that... because then I might the, it, <clears throat> It's if I roll a six on a save, then I get to make a free attack action, so I could I could try and oh, stun everybody no. again. Oh yeah, that's it's, okay. it's not a great it's not a great thing, but I like so many people attacking. I like yeah. your style, Nick. Very so good. I shall do that. Yeah, it's good when you've got a stun action. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, fine. So that is the end of the hero turn. Uh, not so bad. Not so bad. Adversary turn. All right. Demonic power. Uh, D three other adversaries. One. Um, let's just pick this acolyte here. Give you guys a chance. The bringing new models is the behavior table action, which will be now. Ah, okay. Yeah. So we're going to do that now. It's a six, Ugh. which is Cruel Illusion. The Chaos Sorcerer Lord switches places with the adversary closest to the most wounded hero. He then attacks that hero with a Dark Bolt if he is not adjacent to the hero as Chaos Rune Staff and Rune, Chaos Rune Sword if he is adjacent to the hero. Swap with the adversary. So that's probably... Profound. Yes, yeah. swap with the, the stunned... So yeah, so I'll let you guys pick. Um, so these two are closest to the Griffhound. I think we should pick the one that isn't stunned. Yeah. Because yeah. then at the end of the adversary turn, we get to go and all three of us can pile in on this guy and we might actually kill him. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Very Plus nice. the summoner's not going to attack. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't automatically walk back after he's made no. his attack. No, no, no. So he's no. stuck there. In, he's, he's there in front of all three of us. So if we can just survive this, then we pour everything into him and do however many wounds. That's it. Here we go. Right, Try the and tank. take this guy down. The tank is going. Right, here we go. This is, actually, this is actually brilliant. You might lose the Griff Hound, but he'll... And then it kind of it frees you up to, to kill this sorcerer who's been just out of the... The equation for yep. so long. Right, Chaos Rune Staff, one dice, hitting on twos. It's a two. Right, uh, the Griff Hounder's got a five up save. It does D3 damage, but it's going to be irrelevant. It's a one. So the Griff Hound, yeah. sadly. Oh no, the Griff Hound healed one, didn't he? Yes, yeah. it did. So D3 damage. Ah, three. That's enough. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So sadly, the Griff Hound is out of there. It's done its job. Yep. Nothing but a smear of Jameson's on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's gone off. He, he limps back to sleep it off. Griff um, Hound. I guess he's kind of, I guess if you read the thing, he probably piles everything into the hero. So we'll say he won't attack again with his rune sword. Mm hmm. Um, so that's that, All right? Uh, let's Some do the hmm? Some acolytes now, isn't it? Yeah, so let's do the we've, we've got let's do the blood reavers. There's not that many of those. They roll a one berserk fury. Each blood reaver moves towards the nearest hero, then attacks them. Uh, oh, sadly, Ross. <laughs> Even Jeez. though he killed one. He can come in. Yeah. Ross is... Up to one of these a turn. Yeah, Ross is tanking. That's all right, Ross. Right, he's going to go with the Meat Ripper Axe. One dice re-rolling uh, because of flurry of uh, weight of numbers. He misses. Then we've Great. got the normal guy. Two dice. Numbers. It's uh, if, you're, if two Blood Reavers are adjacent to the same guy, they can re-roll failed attack rolls. Oh. So that does two damage. Ross, you have got a four up save. Yeah, I can't remember the skill. And you can reroll one of those. So you failed both. So you don't reroll ones, do you? No. 
It's a six, so you only take one damage. That's fine. Nice. Keep on kicking. Because I think you'll heal that at the end anyway. Yes, uh, because he's got a seed. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right now it's the Acolyte's turn. Five. They do something weird. There is no escape. Each Acolyte moves towards the nearest hero, then they attack whichever weapon is in range. Okay. So they're already all in combat. Uh, one, two. The nearest hero. Oh yeah, I guess technically they should move next to yeah. Ross. I don't know. And then shoot him. <laughs> Sorry, Ross. <laughs> That's all right. That was a nice move. Yeah. Welcome to the dangerous side of the room. Right, Sorcerer's Bolt. One, two, three. Uh, hitting on three is one save. Uh, so two hits. You got a four up save. A five and a four. Ping, ping. Okay. Bounces off your dwarven armor. Up the bear. All right, then we've got the three acolytes down near Nick. Mm hmm. Uh, six dice, four attack. Uh, hating on four, sorry. Six dice? Wow. Yeah, there's three oh, two of them, each. two each. Uh, actually, one's got a special... Is it a special weapon? No, I don't uh, think hang on, Hang on, hang on. Before you roll the dice, before you roll the dice, you probably need to roll each of them individually because I think if my shield thing goes off, it interrupts your go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. stunned. Oh, actually, and this guy's stunned anyway, so he's not going to do yeah. anything. So we'll do that guy there. Uh, double sixes. <laughs> so, so that's no. pretty. That's what I, I rolled. Back, isn't it? That's yeah. not my save. No, no, here we go. This is your save now. I'm excited there for a second. I know so this is your save. Is it's a one and a two. Ugh. Can you re-roll any of those? Mm -mm. Right here you that go. Means I've taken three. Yeah, and then this guy oh, here. Dear. Oh dear. It's a four and a six. You need oh, at least dear. one four. Oh dear. It's a one and a three. Oh, oh dear. dear. So, so you rolled not single dice lower four for them and not a single dice above a three for me. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yes, no. It's pretty okay. bad. He's down. All right, it's down to mm. Andy and Ross, but that's the adversary turn. Done. Um, Ross, you heal a uh, you heal because of um, uh huh uh, seeds of the Everroot. So you're back to full health. Oh dear! Uh, at least I'm tanking a few at that north. Yeah, oh. exactly. Black Art Fleet Master. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. No healing. Yeah. So destiny dice. Here we go. Oh, so oh. oh, that is terrible, guys. I'm sorry. Two sixes that's... and two fives get removed, and you've only got three to play with. Any nickel around? I know. Yeah. Uh, that would have been perfect. Could have. Okay. There's one, one, and a four. No sixes and fives there. No, but it's enough to use his murder hook. So two, four, five. Mm. If he doesn't dodge everything, I, I, you can only do six. Only can do a maximum of a six damage. Unless no, you know. no, he can do a maximum of eight, I think. But that's that's it's, if he rolls two sixes on the murder. It's a race. Mm. This is a okay. slow, drawn out death. <laughs> yeah. Yes, right. yes. Um, that last that last roll of attacking from Ali is that was pretty off. brutal. Yeah, yeah. You can't cast okay. going no. down. As... Just just to attack everything, Ali. That's, I mean, yeah. Feel free to use the destiny yeah. dice as well, mate. Yeah. Uh, everything yeah. into the sorcerer. Everything. Oh, actually, sadly, you have to hit the um. You have to go into the blood reaver first. Bodyguard. Yeah. Can you use your earthquake ring here? Yeah. I'm going to need sixes. Oh yeah, then no. Oh, oh you okay, took yeah. them away. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> destiny gave, and then destiny took away. Yeah, well, I just hit him then, mate. Just... It might be to um, try and just... clear out, free up Ross. Yeah, the, you could 
try and pass an agility test to get Ross no, out. No point, no. We're going to be... No. I'm I think so, we just I'm need to... so switched in the corner. We just need to power through this, all die, so we can have everyone back, I think. Yeah, I think that's basically right, yeah. That, That's the so spirit. <laughs> I'm just going to attack, just attack him. Just okay. All right, so we're going into the Blood Reaver. Uh, he only needs... I think he's got two wounds left on him if he's the... If he's the uh, the guy with the bit, uh, the flesh bit, uh, what is it, the banner, mm -hmm. icon bearer, the, yeah. So he's got two wounds left. What do you want to use on him? Uh, just murder hook him, I guess. Okay. Two damage. It's a five. You kill him. Good, good. Cool. Excellent. Let's uh... another run out. That's one thing. <laughs> I've got a lot of run out in this game. <laughs> Six, then uh, murder hook the sorcerer. Yes, mm -hmm. It's a six. Hey, good. So you do two damage. Let's do that one first. So his oracular visions. Well, he's got a no. He doesn't have a save. No. Oracular visions. It's a six. Sadly, he saves it. Oh. So he saves it. Then you get a black art cutlass hit, which you hit. So oracular visions now. It's a five. He saves that as well. <laughs> Get out of this face. It's all right. Uh, number one. Uh, using the one. Yeah, just hit him again. Use the one, one and the three if you want, mate. Yeah, four. Okay, so you hit him. Oracular visions. It's a three. So he takes one. I'm going to count yeah. up with this guy. And then, do you want to use eight. the? Do you want to use the destiny dice? Um, is, it, is it worth yeah. healing? Is it the thing? Just swinging. But you're not going to kill not, him. It might be worth. He's not going to survive. Well, he's not going to survive either. Just hit him again. I'm not. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. All right, here you go. It's a five. You hit him. Oracular visions. It's a two. So he takes another one. We're only Nick for here. Yeah. Mm. Right, and that's the end of your turn. Right, Ross. There we go. Three fours and a one. Could you do like an aerial view of the map, please? To see, am I just hemmed uh -huh. in completely, or? <laughs> yes, a little bit. Fine. Fine. <laughs> no point in trying to unpin and do the old matrix move. <laughs> um, okay, I will. Um, I, I, I think I'm in, in combat with two blood reavers, aren't I? So if I yeah. do faint against one of them on a two plus, please, and then. Yep. It's a two, you get it. Oh, skimmed again. And then the three <laughs> attacks into him, please. Yep, it's a three twos. Here we go. Three, three, and a six. So you kill him. Cool. Hey. So that's a renown for Red Ross. Yep, another six turns. I'll have cleared this room out. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Right. That's team Randy. They won't know what's hit them. <laughs> yeah. uh, adversary turn. All right, so he's going to do his D3 thing. One, so this guy is going to get one extra attack. Uh, there's Blood Reaver, so he may as well just attack you. Actually, see what he gets. It's a four on his behavior table. Which is slaughter them. Move to the nearest hero. Oh, each Blood Reaver attacks the nearest hero. Okay, which is what we were going to do anyway. So two attacks on a four, not re-rolling. They both miss. Right, and then we got the Acolytes. There should, there should definitely be an option for the Blood Reavers where they just they go mad and just hit the nearest model. Oh, well, like the Wrathmongers oh. kind of thing. 
Yeah, on that behaviour table, they should just attack the nearest model to them if they roll a one or something on the behaviour table. Right, one is one to two is draw their blood. So that's where you try and roll a six at the end. So they, they move and attack with whichever weapon is in range. All right, so here we go. Uh, two, four, six on Andy. Hit it on fours, I believe. Oh, only one hit. Mm. Andy, you have got a five up save, re rolling ones and twos. It's a one. It's a six. Well done. No nice. hits there. Excellent. Good. Uh, da -da. Then we've got two guys on Ross. Let them come. Let them come. Two hits. Oh. Ross has got a four up save. Saves one. Do you want to re roll this one? Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Saves two. Wow. And then you've Jesus got these two who are just going to shoot two dice on a three up. That's it. No damage done. It's my aura, my aura of ones. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, let's do a six. Uh, roll my dice. Thank God it wasn't a six. Um, and that's the end of the adversary turn. That was surprising. Does the sorcerer have a go? Oh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> or is his go the beginning bit where he does his stuff? What did he do? He didn't he do anything. He killed actually. the griffhound. That was last turn, wasn't it? That was last turn. He just did oracular visions. Yeah, that's that. a, yeah he hasn't had anything. So let's do a, his behavior table. It's a four. Curse artifact. The nearest hero suffers one wound unless they immediately discard a treasure card. The discarded oh. card has no effect. Is that all he does? Yeah, on a four. Have I... you got any treasure to discard? Uh, mm -hmm. Andy doesn't, actually. Oh, we'll pick no. that. <laughs> no effect. No, the discarded card has no effect. <laughs> yeah. You can't cast a treasure it doesn't have. That'd just take a damage, I presume. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. The oh, sorry, I thought it said unless they immediately discard. The nearest hero suffers one wound. Oh, no. Unless they immediately discard a treasure card. So, oh, okay. So if you haven't got, got a treasure discard. card, you can't discard it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, unfortunately, so one. you're going to take a wound, which puts you to two wounds, Andy. I think, yeah, I mean, I mean in that entire turn... That's sort of just doing one... Yeah, not yeah. too bad. Cool. All right. Um, so, the Cogsmith. Now, the flame goes to you. Let's do your destiny dice. Two sixes, sadly. Oh, right here. Two sixes. A one, a two, and a five. Four action dice, three, four, five, and a five. How are you still not injured? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. What, what would you like to do, Ross? Um, <clears throat> I've forgotten how my um, seed of the every thing works. Is that something just that ticks at the end of the turn, or can I? Yeah. So yeah. at the end of each turn, you heal one wound. Uh, okay, so I can't do anything for Andy to give him an extra dice. You no, you could have if you were adjacent to him. You can heal a hero adjacent to you. No, that would have been good. Yeah. Um, I think all I can do is faint uh, against one of the... So do you, want to, do you want to use the one from the destiny pool? Um, yes, because that... Andy, you can use that anyway, could you? Yeah. Yes, he could, because he, he's got this ah. skill that lets him use a lock dice. Oh, really? Um, I'll use my three. I don't want to touch any of the Destiny dice because I'm not, I'm not doing anything with him. I'm just stuck. Yeah. Okay, so you use the three. Yeah, let's yeah, see. Yeah, please. What... It's a one, so your oh. fate misses, unfortunately. Um, I might as well try it with four because my, my attack's so rubbish at a four plus. What, faint? Yeah. 
It's a six. Cool. Cool. And then I did the other two attacks into. Um, uh, is, there, is there a blood reaver by me or? Yeah. It's a one. Yeah, it's a one and a two. Oh, fine. Uh, uh, do you want to do it on the blood reaver? Or I mean, I'd probably put it on this guy just in case you can get a chance to get out and unpin yourself. Uh, yeah, I mean nothing. Nothing's happening. Because the blood reaver is not going to the blood reaver is not going to get any more bonuses. Fine. But, okay. And and he doesn't have a shooting attack, whereas the other one does as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Sounds good. Um, right. Mm, it's Andy's and... turn to solo it all anyway. Andy, he's hurting. A four and a two. What would you like to do? A four and a two. Yeah. Um, well, all I can really do is just keep sacking the uh, sorcerer, I think, really. Yeah. Okay. So are we going in with murder hook? No sixes around, so. Yeah. Yeah, please. It's a two, I'm afraid. So, uh, do you want to use the five okay. on the destiny, or just go straight on this one for a normal one? You can use both of the destiny dice, can't we? Yeah. I mean, they're all going to get used. I think the order say so you use. Yeah, yeah, use normal attack then. Yeah. That one, that two. On a three, so you got a six. Uh, Oracular visions. It's a two, so he takes another one. Hmm. And then we're going to use the three destiny dice because when you use one, one will get locked, but your skill lets yep. you unlock it. So here we go, murder hook. It's a two, I'm afraid. Oh. And then these two, uh, four and a two. So you hit one more time. And Arac but he dodges it with oracular visions. Okay. Now it's the adversary turn. So, the Chaos Sorcerer, D3, Demon thing. So, this guy's just going to get one more attack on his table. It's a two, which is Sorcerer's Assault. The Chaos Lord moves into a space not adjacent to any hero. He then attacks with a Dark Bolt. Okay, so he is going to... Oh. You have to roll a treat then. I'm going to have to roll an agility thing. Oh, it's one plus. Okay. <laughs> so, oh. He's going to He's going to roll here, but he's going to shoot at Ross. To give you that means I can't now. attack him now, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, unless you get an agility thing. Um, right. Dark Bolt, D3 attacks, four plus. He always gets a one, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. One attack. <laughs> Four plus, and he misses. So that's the sorcerer's turnover. Good. Uh, the uh, the blood reaver is a four. I don't think that's going to be anything to be concerned about. Attacks the nearest hero. So the blood reaver on you, Ross, hits once. You've got a four up save, which you make. Nice. Now, the acolytes, six. We may actually do this. Fall back if there are twice as many heroes on the board as Acolytes. Oh no, each Acolyte moves towards the nearest portal. An Acolyte that ends its move on a portal flees and is removed from play. Each Acolyte still on the board then attacks the nearest hero with which it ever is in hand. Weird, okay, but well, that's not going to happen. Uh, I realise that fighting me in the corner is futile. So the whole room's going to empty. Yeah, all right. They may as well just normal, normally attack. Two, four, five, six. Six guys. In another six turns, he's going to kill us all. <laughs> <laughs> Three hits on Andy. Oh, no hit, no saves, but they all are ones and twos, so he gets to re-roll them all. Mm-hmm. Five, six, and a four. No. So you only take one more. I still get a dice. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then uh, two guys on Ross. 
only one Just guy a very, hits. Very, very slow, slow drain away. Which you'll re. That was a one, but you can re roll it. Yes, please. So you yeah. take one hit. Uh, and you've got two sorcerer's bolts against you. Two sixes. So you've got two fours to save. Five and a two. You take one more hit. Can I re-roll the two or is it just once per? No, I think it's only once Fine. per That's okay. thing. I'll just double check it. Yeah, the first time this hero fails a save roll in each adversary phase, we roll the yeah. dice. Um, all right, end of the turn. Yes. Ross, you heal one. Uh huh. So you go back up to just taking one wound. And now the torch moves over to the fleet master. Who's slowly. Let's have an actual six this time. Yeah, right. We're going to do the destiny dice. There is a six, and it's not an unexpected event. You've got a three, a four, and a six to play with. Good. And you can take everything you want from that, mate. I'm still. And your amazed. one action not helping. is a five. I'm going to have to probably use a few of them to heal, otherwise, I'm going to be out of action pretty soon. Yeah, um, I'll do the do the six first. I think that's so okay. we'll try and clear out what we can. Yeah, are you using the six in your square or in Ross's square? Do I get to choose? Yeah. I thought I had to do it in the one I was in. Uh, in the chamber you're in. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a complete chamber, but what? But because it's two tiles, it will only affect one tile. Oh, I would have probably done that earlier. Although we've always been in the busiest one. Yeah. Oh, well, I it's got to, it's is it got worth to be yours though, right? Clearing yourself out. It probably is, because you're healing and I'm not. Yeah, that's true. And I can't hit the sorcerer anyway. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um on my square, please. Okay, so we'll start off with this guy here. Hitting on a three. It's a three. It's a four, so you kill him. So he takes two wounds. Uh, I'm going to do your renown at the end. This guy here. It's a three. B. It's a one, sadly. So you take one more wound. The guy in front of you. It's a five, so you hit him. It's a four, so he takes two wounds. Enough for your bonus renown. Uh, so you've done two, three. Yes, yeah, so you get a, uh, another renown as well. You could focus on healing up and chipping away at those two and just consolidating. Yeah, hopefully I might be able to. How many dice have we got left? Three. Three. So I use it. I murder hook someone first on the yeah. two two wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Okay. It's a six. But, oh, yes. Uh, ah, unfortunately, the murder hook only goes on the same adversary. So how many? The other one's got one wound that's on you. Yes, yeah, so the one behind yeah. you has got one wound. So try and kill first. him. You try and kill him and then heal, and then you won't be hit. Ideally, yeah, yeah. Next turn, yeah, yeah. Go on then. Okay. The source if, not, if this misses, it would be a conundrum. It's a six. You kill him. Oh shoot! Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Another. Sh so that's that yeah. Does. So you. <laughs> How many people have I killed this turn? Yeah, I this think it's clear, between you and Ross, you are clearing out the room. So you you got ten renown. So you level up. Um, should we do your heal first? Definitely. And yeah. then let's see if you got That's a, a good skill turn. that helps you. That's sensible, mate. I think you consolidated really well there. Yeah. As long as the sorcerer doesn't turn around, just do two, two damage. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you've got learn tactician. Uh, learn tactician is roll a dice at the beginning of the adversary phase. On a six, this hero and any heroes adjacent to them can immediately make a weapon action or move action without having to spend a hero dice. 
If the hero is academic, the hero can use this skill on a roll of a five or a six. You are not academic. The <laughs> other one is Divine Strike, which is a weapon action. The hero can make the Divine Strike weapon action if they have two or more Grievous Injury markers on their hero dice track. Um, so it's a five plus uh, weapon action. You hit on a two and does three damage. You have to be almost dead. And then you have to okay. roll, then you have to use a five. Yeah, I yeah. rolled that one. That's rubbish. rubbish. Uh, that's rubbish. The other ones are possible. You'd have to trade one of the ones you've got, haven't you? Yeah, I think they're probably all better. I've got reroll ones and twos. I've got Grievous Injury removal one. Yeah. And I've got um, the, the Lock Dice uh, one. The, yeah, the Visionary yeah. one. All of which are quite useful. Yeah. It's been nice to have useful skills. <laughs> He's faint quite well. Yes, that is true. Are you ignoring them? <laughs> or I could get rid of the Grievous Injury one and have that instead. I think I have that instead. So, the Grievous. Considering there's three of us off the board, I know we're all, we're all probably going to die, aren't we? So it doesn't matter. So, so when you come back, you'll probably all have Grievous Injuries, I would have thought. Unless, unless we complete the quest. Yeah. I'm going to take the switch my grievous injury save out yeah. for the learn tactician one. Yeah, because I'm one in six. That'll come up more than we think. Me and everyone I'm adjacent to gets to make an attack action. I'm sitting next to Nick. Yeah, can yeah. potentially stun have an earthquake me. and a stun go. That's mm -hmm. pretty good, actually. Is yeah, it any action? Yeah, it, well, says, or it says a weapon action or a move action. Yeah. So I can okay, use, use a ring and a stun. That's one in six chances. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting rid of unnatural fortitude and we're having learned tactician or learned tactician. Mm hmm. Tishon. Okay. Right, very good. Um, so it's. The torch went to you, didn't it? Or did it go to. Ross hasn't had a turn yet, has he? Oh, yeah, that's just my go. Yeah, yep. that's Ross's cool. go. Cool. All right, Ross. Here we go. Three dice. Make them count. <gasps> a six, a one, and a two. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit a guy in the corner. Are you going to do faint or just try and yeah, get three I'll, fours? I'll do. Um, yeah, I need to re refresh my faint, but a debuff, don't I? So I'll try that first, please. It's a six. Lovely. On the same guy that we tried last time, and then two yeah. attacks on him, please. It's a four and a five. So he goes, he's taken three wounds. Yeah, thank you. Listen. Right, adversary turn. Um, D3. Whatever, um, demonic. Run a before you start. Oh yeah, right, right, right. We'll keep that. He'll hurt. He's only really good. All right, here we go. Andy's turn. No, it's a three. Andy stayed perfectly still during this. <laughs> yeah, hoping nobody would see him. Um, right, he's going to have one more attack, uh, and then the sorcerer does a one. Summon minions. <laughs> Ten Karik Acolytes. Uh, set up D6 Karik Acolytes or Blood Reaver in the same manner as for an ambush, but do not roll to see if the heroes are surprised. Instead, the adversaries can act this phase unless their adversary group is already uh, active. Oh. oh, dear. Come on, roll low. Roll low. It's a one. That's cool. Um... One, two, three. That'll do there. All right. Uh, Carrick Acolytes. They're doing a four. Which is each Acolyte moves towards the nearest hero, then each Acolyte attacks the nearest hero. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so I guess on you, Andy, this guy here, the fresh guy. Oh, dear. Hits twice. Mm -hmm. uh, you save one. Okay. You take uh, another hit. 
And then Ross, you've got the two acolytes on you. Yep. Uh, one hit. You have a four up save, which you miss. You can re-roll re for a six, which you make. Wonderful. Then these guys have got shooting attacks. Uh, they make their shooting attacks in combat. Sorry? Can they make them in combat? They're not in combat. Are they not in combat? Oh, sorry. No, yeah. Uh, there's, there's so many around Ross that... Uh, yeah. There's always has been. Ah, and they all miss. <laughs> Bulletproof Ross. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll do this guy. The Blood Reaver is going to attack on fours. Hits one. So you got a four up save. Which you make. Amazing. Cool. Supports the Lord uh, Flashheart entrance. That's it. So end of the turn, Ross heals a, a dice going up to full health. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's why I went in the top alone. Yeah. Uh... And then the cogsmith goes now. So the torch is with Ross. Here is your destiny dice. Ah, oh, sad times. You lose four of them, unfortunately, and get a five. Them for you, Andy. And then uh, <laughs> four here. So a two, a three, a one, and a six. Um, the the acolyte that I've hit is how many wounds has he got left? Is it? He's got couple? one wound left. Um, can I just take a swing at him with the with the one? These? Yeah. Yeah. Four plus, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a five. You kill him. Lucky. That was lucky. Played for and got. So. Um, and then I was that. Have you got um, anyone touching you now? Uh, yeah, he's got he's got two people touching him, but two, two more, he, right. he he can make an agility thing if he wants. Oh, to should we do it? And get out of there. There isn't your agility that's sex or something. Yeah. <laughs> What is my jersey? Is it a six? It is it? a six, yeah. And you take a wound if you fail. No, that's mm. only near um, um, the Blight Kings. Oh, is that new? Oh, so you can run away without getting hurt? I think so. Let me check. If it was. I guess I we got failed. It's just a Blight King. How many people still in contact with you? Two. So he's got two in front of him. He's got he's got potentially two rolls to roll a six, and then oh no, but then he'd have to. He's got one six for his blunderbuss. Yeah, yeah but he'd have to move. move as well. So he'd need to roll a six, move, and then blunderbuss. Ah. I th I think I'm better off staying in combat. So retreat. Count as a. You not move as part of the retreat action. Yeah, isn't it? You you use us to move, and then sure. you have to take a test. See whether you can move, isn't it? I don't no, know you spend the dice, back. then you, you spend the dice for your move, mm -hmm. then you take your agility test. If you fail it, you don't move. Yeah, so he's got two yeah. chances to get away. Yeah. And then he can shoot if each of them successful. He's got two two chances. He's yeah, he's got two chances, but he'd have to use the destiny dice as well. Or is but, it more sensible for me to just keep them pinned. Stay in the corner, keeping everyone there, and for Andy to take out this guy. But if you do get away, you could use the Grudge Raker and finish. You could finish this, potentially. I don't know, because it wouldn't keep on bouncing on the same guy, would it? Does it not bounce? No, it, it just keeps going. So you just roll to keep making the action. It's not like um, Andy's. Oh, OK. Sorry, I thought it bounced. Even though I've been doing it every week for ages. Sorry. Um, what do we reckon, guys? Pass and Nick. We go for a Hail Mary for a six. Why not? I think we're at the point where it's Hail Mary or bad times. So I'd say yeah. give it a shot. You can yeah. be the hero. <laughs> I mean, worst case, even if you take three attempts to do it, you might be able to move near Ro uh, near Andy and try and heal him with your Seeds of the Everroot. That's, That's true. true. And then we go stood next to each other. Yeah. Help. That's it. You'd be like okay. back to back, like in a Western. 
Yeah, it'd be nice to be All next right. to someone. Um, <laughs> it's nice to see what the room looks like now as well. Yeah, go for it. I'll, I'll use the two to unpin myself. All right, here we go. Please. Go. It's a three. Uh, I'll use the three to unpin myself, please. It goes off the table. Oh. <laughs> here we go. For long in it. It's a one. Mm. When you try and unpin, if you fail, do you take a wound or is that only No, that's blight? only when you're next to a Blight King. Okay, cool. Uh, what's, what's sensible now? I think Andy's going to make better, better use of the five. I'd go for it. Why not? Is there any point now? As in move? Unless Andy oh, uses it, it's going to use it to heal. I probably would do. I've only got one health. One dice. One dice. Oh, yeah, I think that's more sensible. I think you're do you're achieving more than I am. Um, I think all I can do is use my six to clonk someone near me, please, with the axe. Yep. On a I four up. Here we go. It's a one. Yep. I know. All right. Andy. One dice. It's a two. Great. Um, and I've got two dice to use. Yeah, you got your two plus the five from the destiny pool. No, it's boring, but I feel I could probably just use them both to heal. But... Mm hmm. Okay. Is that what you're doing? I think, I think it's sensible. Yeah, these guys aren't doing much damage against it. I'm not really that scared of famous last words. <laughs> we keep some wizard bolts around. They're not doing anything. Yep. You had to say it. You had yeah, to I say know, it. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Backstab. Right, here we go. Fine, Smashes quietly in the corner and then got cocky. Yeah. <laughs> Adversary turn. Here we go. Uh, the demonic thing. So he picks two guys. These two, I guess. No, these two there. I'll see if I get to go. Sorry, or a six. Sorry, mate. If you're a six, yeah, I get oh to yes, do yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, you have to keep me reminding me. That one's off the table. <laughs> it's a two. Oh. All right, so Thank we you. do. Yeah, these two have got one extra hit against Ross because he's a bit more tanky. Uh, and then the sorcerer himself rolls a three which is Winds of Chaos. The Chaos Sorcerer Lord moves as far from the heroes as possible. In the following hero phase, all heroes must take a pinning test if they wish to move. Okay. Oh, well, no different then. Are we still any damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's no, uh, so he moves three, so he's gonna move uh, one, two, three over here. Come to my corner of doom. Uh, actually, that makes him, I, th I don't think, yeah, it's going to be the same thing. Okay, so he's done. Uh, the Kerik Acolytes roll a two. So that's the thing where they add their wounds. This guy on Andy, hitting on fours. One hit. Five up save. It's a two, which you get to re-roll. Oh, yeah. It's a four. Sadly, you take one damage we get add plus one to our hit then we've got one guy on ross on yeah but he's got an extra hit two sixes so you need two fours you make one four re-roll yeah and you you make it and that was it that was important because that would have added one to the roll then you got two guys um who are shooting you one guy's got an extra hit Two hits, save mm -hmm. it on fours. You make one, take one. Fair it is, and I'll hit it back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's so tough. Yeah, and then you've got the um, Blood Reaver hitting on fours. Hits once, four up save, uh, which unfortunately goes through. Ah. Oh. So end of the turn, let's see if these guys summon any more guys. Three, four, five. It's not a six, so you get nothing. Excellent. That's good. 
All right, the torch moves over to the Black Art Fleet Master. Here we go. Destiny Maybe dice. Say unexpected. Nearly. You're not getting lucky. You've only got a one to play with. <laughs> but it's not an unexpected event. Okay. And then you've got you've got two. You've got a four and a five. Okay. Well, let's give him a punch. Yeah. I mean a, a hook, I should say. Murder hook. Here we go. It's a five. So he takes two. Okay. Um let's have to do it again. Yeah. yeah have to do it again, maybe heal. It's a three, so you kill him. Get a renown. Um you've got to roll a pin test to move because the source would just see the wind, so might be good to heal with the one. Just just heal with the one. And then, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you agree? Just hope no one else comes in. <laughs> I, I do believe the worst is behind this. Right, oh, no. uh, What's that one where you get 10 acolytes? I think that's a one-off, wasn't it? I oh, hope. That one. Ross, I've, uh, you've, got, you've taken a wound finally, haven't you? Oh, it's the height of too much, Sheree. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> one, three, and a four. Okay, I will use um, Faint against one of the... Is it worth trying to escape? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I, don't, I don't know. That the sorcerer's all by, him, by his lonesome. I, st I still I feel like it's valuable that I'm holding everyone at the top. True. The way from Andy, because they're not... And I'm knocking one at a time out. Mm. I don't know how you feel, Andy. I think I think I'm a waste of pin rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're yeah. right. No, you may be right. Okay. You can keep whittling them down. Yeah. Nick, I, th I think escaping and popping him with a few shots would be amazing, but I, I think the but it's not going to happen. That's fair enough. Stage one of that. Do what you're doing. There. Do what you're doing. It's not so good. Yeah, I'll, I'll use Faint against one of the Acolytes and then clunk in twice, please. Okay, Faint. It's a six. Well done. Okay. Uh, you are on one wound. Did you want to use one to heal or just hit him twice? Um, I'll heal that at the end of this phase, won't I? Yes. Yeah, but they'll they'll have a go as well, if you see what I mean. It's taken them that long to give me one wound. I think, okay. yep. I think I'll hit him twice and then regret that soon. It's a six and a one. So, it uh, was that on the acolyte. Yes, please. Okay, and that's the um. end of Ross's turn. Mm -hmm. So, now we're going to do Andy's six up roll before we go into the adversary phase. It's a two. Oh. He's going to do his um, demonic power. So it's a one. We give this guy one extra attack. His behavior table is a one. Oh, is that summon minions again? No. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. If you want me to, I can ignore it and we go to a normal attack. That's probably better, to be honest. It's not it's not gonna end. The room's never it's, gonna end. It feels like it's moving this room for hours. Yeah, I think you should um, yeah. attack. Fine, so we'll do a we'll, we'll in the do a spirit of progress. We're going to, do, yeah, in the spirit of progress, we're going to do a missile attack at Andy, who has got some weird cloak where he can like swing his hips and start dodging bullets. Yeah. Cloak of David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> so the Chaos Sorcerer is going to shoot at Andy. D3 attacks. One attack. Hitting on fours, which is hitting on fives now, I believe, because the Black Ops. Oh, no, no you re -roll it just says again. he re rolls. Oh, yeah, fine. Reroll saves. Is the law monster who gets minus one to yeah. attack rolls for shots? So he hits as D three damage. So you get to I get you get Didn't to. Didn't you reroll that? Sorry. You rolled a I four. Have save yet? No, you haven't had your save yet. yet. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, you haven't had your oh, save okay. yet. I was here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. So you are saving on a five re-rolling. It's a one. 
which you get to re-roll. It's a six, so you save it. Uh -huh. Uh, and then we're going to do the acolytes here. Their behaviour is four. There is no escape, <laughs> literally. Each attack, uh, they basically move towards the nearest hero, then attack you. So, um, bring it on. Probably going to move him there, Ross, so it will get rid of a shooting attack, which is probably better. And then we're going to have four dice hitting on fours. Oh, he's got one extra, doesn't he? Five dice yeah. hitting on fours. So only two hit. You get a four up save. Six and a two. You re roll this re -roll. one. It's a six. So you make that one. And then he's going to shoot you with a blast. Yep. It's a one. He misses. This guy is going to attack you with his reaver blades on fours. And they miss. And that is the end of the <laughs> adversary turn. Oh, my God. You heal a wound, Ross, going back up to full strength. Yeah. It's the new Castellan. That's without, it. Now it's the Cogsmith. any useful utility skills. Now it's the Cogsmith turn. Destiny dice. One, two, three. Oh, that was lucky. You got two fives there. So you got a one, two, Whoa. and a three. And then you um, get a full complement of four attack action. Oh, sorry, action dice. One, two, three, and a six. Uh, I will. Um, the acolyte of wounders has got two wounds left, hasn't he? Uh, one wound. He's got three wounds left. You early done with three wounds. wounds. Yeah. Um, I might as well use feints against him, please. The five. Yeah. And so then, then hit him three, three times. times. Nothing else to do. Oh, that's annoying. There's a <laughs> one there. So. It's fine. Andy's welcome to all the Destiny dice, I hope. Well, I I imagine it might be better for me to come to you and kill all the, <laughs> those guys. Has anyone crossed that threshold into my half of the room? <laughs> no. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> no one's been able to because it's been full of bodies the entire time. It's like that well, scene she... where, where you kind of open the door quietly, see what's going in, think better off it, and then quietly shut the door and walk back out <laughs> Walk <again>. backward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should have done that, Ross. <laughs> Maybe you I... could use a destiny dice there. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter if Andy can get a six to ground shake that room. But Yeah, I think all the, all the dice, whether they're ones, two, sixes, whatever, are you're, best in Andy's hand. Well, because you, you, one, you, you only need a you're two. You're hitting on twos now. Yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're hitting on, on a three to just kill that yeah. one guy. I think you should do it. You reckon? Oh, you, I'll you use it in that case. Yeah, you so if you, use, if you use this one, you only need to roll a two and it, it stops another guy attacking. Yeah, it's true. It's a four. Well done. You killed him. Got him. Well done. Good. Good advice, team. Oh, it's my character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is another. <laughs> Sorry, what what was your character? I said, oh, there's there's my character. That's the first time I've seen him. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, Andy, you are up. Time to clean up. Hopefully. Yep. Two sixes. Here we go. You're rolling three Two dice, sixes. so it's not too shabby. Uh, sadly, it's a one, three, uh, and a four. I've got one dice to the four, I think. Well, I might not kill everyone. I think I'm just going to move. If I move to in combat with the two that are touching Ross, keeping him in combat, and then attack them. Yeah, and, and then, then it stops somebody attacking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, and then you then. will hit because you're adjacent to him. Yeah. Exactly. And right. next turn I go first, so I might just kill them and then before Ross is going. Okay, so you might be able to shoot. <sighs> exactly. Right. Um, are any of them damaged? No, everyone's uh, the only person who's taken damage now. You are taken one, and he's the sorcerer has taken three. Everyone else is on full health. Okay. Shall I kill the slow program of pain in my corner, Andy? <laughs> I don't know which is better. The Blood Reaver is slightly better, isn't he? So one extra attack. 
Uh, no, they've oh, all got two attacks attack each. The, 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 um, the, the, the acolytes <laughs> have the acolytes have got that bit where they draw their blood, so they could potentially summon more. If I was you, I'd take the acolytes out. Oh, okay. I'll go for the acolyte then. Yeah. Yeah, go for the acolyte. Um, lucky hook. six would be lovely. It's a five, close but um, no cigar. Um, and then you've got this guy here, so hitting on a three. That one was a six, I'm afraid. <laughs> and then you've got two destiny dice. Yep, yeah, okay for it again. Okay. I'll bring them over here. So one destiny dice on a three. It's a one. Second destiny mm -hmm. dice. It's a two. Oh no. Oh dear. Hmm. It's not terrible, but it's uh, it's a bit annoying. Right here we go. So this is where you this is where you roll a six for me. Yeah. Hang up. Let's. Uh, My ass break. That would be incredible because um, oh, yeah. You'd all because now that Ross is next to you, he'd get the benefit from it as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a six. No. <laughs> it's a six right let's read earthquake that. let's read that card learned tactician roll a dice at the beginning of the adversary phase on a six this hero and any heroes adjacent to them can immediately make a weapon action or move action without having to spend a hero dice right uh sadly ross is um can't shoot because you're still yeah. confined to the rules, but he can probably kill that guy off if he gets a four. Well, can't, 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 how do you go first? Earthquake first? An earthquake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, nice. It still won't kill the Blood Reaver, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah but, but then, then Ross can go. There's no point in Ross, Ross can killing the guy. Him. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. I yeah. might finish him with the earthquake. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. So, earthquake ring, here we go. Wow. Uh, three on him. Oh, that, did you? I don't know. Did you see that? That was a four that rolled. Yeah, we saw two. it. And then over here, it's a six. Good. And he takes one wound. It's a shame. And then it's all extra. It's all extra. Yeah. And then this guy here, it's a hit. He takes three. Very good. Right. Oh, I think I am best off. Hitting the the acolyte next to me, aren't I? Yeah. So here we go. Are you, are you still buffed? Your fate. It's still the same turn. No, you pick an you pick an adversary. Oh yeah, he picked him, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he He's no, he only buff. had one. That guy didn't. Oh, did he? Yeah. So he he did his damage to the acolyte who's taken the damage. Yeah. And that yeah, was the one he fainted yeah. against. So he's still buffed. Ah, yeah. That's yeah, I think thing. that's right. Uh, for the rest of that turn, you're right. Here we go. So on a two, two up to kill him. A lot it's of a two. It's yeah. Yeah. Skimming. Uh, the luck is changing for the heroes. That was that was an excellent little bit. That you get another. Thing you tallied up the kills here. This I'd love is. To know kills. This is. Re I wish you guys were here watching this. I mean, I know you're there, but. We are here watching it. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> what else are we doing? Right. Okay, here we go then. Yeah. But you know what I mean. What you and I are doing, Nick. Yeah. Um <laughs> House is like, why don't I just watch this on YouTube next week? <laughs> why am I here? Okay. Be a bit of total war or like yeah. Right, here we go. So he's gonna do his demonic power. Uh, within three, okay, so these two guys, they're going to have one attack extra each. <coughs> His doodah is a one, which is summon minions, but I'm going to do the same thing again, and we're just going to shoot at Andy, rather than summoning more guys. He's out of juice. Yeah, let's just say he's exhausted. So uh, D3 shots, so two hits, two shots, hitting on fours. Oh, he hits twice. Mm. Oh, dear. Two saves. Uh, two saves at a five plus that he re rolls. Two ones. Oh dear. Uh -oh. Uh, six, so you make one, and then you take D3 damage, which is two. Mm -hmm. Not 
terrible, but not what you want. And then Blood Reaver is going to attack Ross. Pretty nice. Uh, He hits once. Ross has got a save of four, which he can re-roll. No, Ross takes a hit. Oh. Sorry, mate. And That's an amazing skill we roll and say, isn't it? Yeah, this guy, he is going to see what he's going to do. It's a two, where he's just going to shoot Ross. So on a three. So he hits. Four up save, which you make. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to roll this thing anyway. It was a six to summon more, but we're not going to do that. Cool. Okay. You guys get away with that by the skin of your teeth. Ross, you have got a decision to make because Seeds of the Everroot is going to kick in. You have taken yep. one wound. Andy has taken three, but you can heal either yourself or a hero adjacent to you. Definitely Andy, please. <laughs> right. So Andy, you, <laughs> Andy goes back down to two health. Cogsmith turn, I think, isn't it? Yes. I, don't, I thought it was. No, isn't it? Oh, I think it's me. Because Andy I was saying it was him Andy. first. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd, really always, like... I'd moved the torch earlier by accident. Uh, sorry, Andy not by accident, but in advance. So, torch moves over to Andy. Here we go. Destiny dice. Uh oh. Unexpected mm. event. Oh, crap. Are they always summons? Is there anything that's... No, no, no. So you roll on the table. Right. You've only ever had summons, though. You've never rolled. Yeah, I didn't realise there was anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> ideally, you want you want me to roll a one, ideally. I roll a six, <laughs> uh, which yeah. is an ambush. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Black King, yeah. Jesus. Jesus, do you know what a six is on the ambush table? No. D6, Nine acolytes. D6 Carrick acolytes, D6 Blood Reavers, and D3 Blight Kings. And. Do you mean or? No, and. <laughs> or. Uh, I haven't rolled a six, sorry. I haven't rolled. I'm just wondering if I should just, if we should just change it and do distracting thoughts which is pick one skill card belonging to each hero in the chamber and turn it face down. You can't use that skill for the rest of the expedition. You're cool. I think we should do that. Shall I fake the roll? It's a two distracting thoughts. Here we go. (laughs) Pick one skill card belonging to each hero in the chamber and turn it face down. The hero cannot use the skill card for the rest of the expedition. Right, Ross. um, That's gonna be be annoying for Ross. Um, Taking away his re-roll save. Mm. I don't know. Or his Uh, faint. Or his faint, yeah. Or you could roll it off, make it fair. Oh, you, know? you forgot about Trickster, Ross. You can force the Games Master to re-roll one attack roll that targets this hero each adversary phase. Ah, sorry. So I you've got... That. I'll let you choose. Which one do you want to get rid of? Faint, Armour of the Faith, or Trickster? Uh, Probably Trickster, if we've not even been using it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. So. Andy, I'm going to give you the, char- uh, the choice as well. Uh, to lose Iron Jaw, Visionary, or Learned Tactician. Oh. In fairness, statistically, you've probably used your Learning Tactician stats already. What, what's so the rest of the expeditions, this entire dungeon? Uh, the expedition, yeah, for the dungeon until you go up to, no, until you go up to Cinderfall. So depending on how the story goes, if, if for whatever reason you go into another dungeon after, that's still oh. part of the expedition. But we've come through every door here. Yeah. We're in Cinderfall. Um, 
Yeah, we're in Cinder. I think this yeah, is probably the, a one-room dungeon. It's got to be, surely. Yeah, well, the sorcerer's here, unless he disappears. Yeah. I guess I'll use, I'll, in that case, I'll lose the sixes to activate thing. Okay, so you're going to lose... That's probably less likely to go off. Yeah, learned tactician. Okay. I hope that we don't have much longer to go. Fine, okay, now... You roll two dice. Sadly, you've lost all your... Oh, it's a four and a six. How many are you in combat with, Ross? Is it uh, worth... Just one. One. Just the Blood Reaver now. It's, can you... You can pass, can't you? you? Let me go first. Yep, I think that makes sense. That's the thing. So yeah, I might it, just kill him. But it's already mm. your turn, Ross. Uh, sorry, Andy, is what I meant. Sorry if I... Oh, was that, oh sorry. Yeah. I thought that was Ross's dice. Of course it is. Yeah, yeah um, we were just polite. It's fine. Yeah, sorry, no, I'm being a... So there's no so destiny would. dice? No, so no. because um, they were all double, there was a double event. and a triple, they all get uh, wiped as normal. Okay, how many wounds have... Uh, the guy's got three left, he's only taken one. I mean, should I just use a, the ring first? Yeah. Okay, yeah. some threes, yeah, go for that. Okay, so hitting on this guy. It's a three, you hit him. It's a five, so it kills nice. him. That's great. Ah, oh, you're free to shoot. <laughs> All right. First time in a dungeon. Yeah, then this guy, you need to hit him on a... Ah! Oh! It's a two. He's only got one wound left. And I've only got one dice. And I'm you got one dice him. left. Am I in combat with him? I'm not. I'm no, not. you're not. Uh, I guess I should be Heal. You can oh, heal. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Touch the room. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, this is my cure in hell. That's search it. <laughs> what are you? Must on? be something under those tiles. Are you on two renown right now, Ross? Uh, Andy. Yeah. No idea. <laughs> so you're, you're just cycling through it. I'm running out of space to write this on. Um, right. Ross. Red Ross. Ross it could... Sixes. Time, time to get unleashed. Triple he keeps six. rolling sixes when he couldn't shoot. So now... A six, a Yay! five, and a four. This is where Jeez. I shoot, shoot a trap by mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <The pendulum. laughs> so you shoot with the gut, with the yeah. machine gun, and then shoot with the pistols. Just don't do anything but shoot. <laughs> I'll shoot with the grudge raker first with a six, please. Okay, here we go. We get some success. Hitting on a three. It's a six. You do, ah, hang on, uh, mm, Oracular Visions. Right. It's a one, so he takes two damage. He's up to five, he's taken. Cool. Right, on a three, you get to go again. It's a five, you get to go again. Lucky. Hitting on a three. It's a four, you hit. Oracular Visions. It doesn't go off, he's taken seven. Oh, Ross. Oh, Thanks come to all on, these Ross. people. Your come first on. Shot. Come on, go keep right going. Here. Finish here we go. On a three, you get to go again. It's a five. You do. On a three, you hit him. <laughs> it's a six. Yes. <laughs> On a five, he'll what? swing his hips and miss it. It's a three, you kill him. Yes. No way. This is just what we've needed the whole time. Just for right. to get one shot MVP. Off. <laughs> <laughs> I think Andy's having about to have a breakdown. <laughs> Next time, you know, you can I search the, the room? <laughs> kill the last stack. Got to kill the last acolyte. You got some uh, more shooting to do. You can say, can I search the room and get all the gold? <laughs> right, just as it seemed that the sorcerer would be slain, he leaps aside no, and a secret doorway opens nearby. He rushes through the doorway and vanishes from sight. His mocking laughter can be heard echoing through the room. Yeah, you must slay any adversaries still in play before you can open the portal. You cannot open the other portals to the north, west, or south. I don't think Ross was stopping anyway. Okay. Oh, <laughs> cap this full with my brace of pistols. Please. Well, no, you still got Grudge Raker. We still have to see yeah, whether yeah. you can do it on a three oh, up. It goes round, I see. Yeah. No such a. It's a, it's a yep. three. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was adjacent people. On a no. three up. It's a three, you kill this guy as well. Yeah. Wow. All right. <coughs> this is hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then around Andy and then... 
<laughs> Basically, Ross has been pinned <laughs> for two and a half days. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So you've got um, two. You want to search? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Huh? It's a three. Uh, you want to search or heal? I might. I might as well, and then we can uh, we can all heal up because I'll heal that from my seed, won't I? At the end. Yeah, but Andy's also taken. Andy's got a damage on marked on him. Okay. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. So if I use the dice for my one, I can heal him. Yep. That sounds like a grand. Right. Caring, sharing plan. Okay. So you're Not going to heal. So you're that. up right now. It is the adversary turn. No ambushes. Don't be no. Silly this is what we want. We want no ambushes. So we want no six. It's a five. Thank God for that. I would have a heart yes. attack. Yeah, <laughs> no, everyone's on tenterhooks. So your Seeds of the Everroot, Ross, can kick in. So you're going to heal yeah. Andy's last wound. Yeah. So you guys are back on full health. The torch goes over to the Cogsmith. The rest of us can come we back, come back now. Yeah, what happens yep, to me? that's it. Yeah, there's no more... Um, we all come back with one grievous injury. Yeah. We don't have anything to heal those, do we? Um, no, so you guys have got it. you guys have, are carrying a grievous injury, so you have only got three squares yeah. to start off with on your spot. I'll finally use that a thing I've been carrying around. <laughs> yeah, see a filter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I need to save it. All right, <laughs> when, when's going to turn the game? Here we go. Here we go. All right, two. Oh dear, nearly another unexpected event. But as Nick's back on the board, two sixes, two fives get shoveled to one side, and a four goes into your pool. All right, here we go. Four action dice for you. <laughs> two sixes and two fives, Ross. No. Oh. Well, you could open the door. What I could guess. possibly? Yeah. 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 Yeah, we can open it and then shoot. Yep. You can use um, Destiny dice to move out the way yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's sensible. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will go over to the door, please. Okay. I don't know if I can do it in one dice, one move. Uh, yes, one, two, three. Is that with the oh. five? Yeah, please. Yeah. Now open the door. I'll open the door with a five. Okay, and bear with me one second. Two. You rush after the fleeing sorcerer, determined that it will not evade your righteous justice once again. As you reach the door, an ancient withered finger, figure stumbles into your path. His face is as pale as snow, and fingers of blue-green luminescence writhe and twist beneath his skin. Retomir promised me eternity, croaks Montes Venago, patriarch of the noble merchant house. A cure for my melody and a thousand generations of power for House Venago. The old man collapses onto the floor. Thin, dark blood is seeping from an ugly wound in his chest. All lies, he gasps. All lies. Venago's head slumps against the wall and his eyes glaze over. You look upon the corpse of a man who betrayed his people and feel only a grim satisfaction at his passing. You step over the corpse and continue your pursuit, finding the corridor that leads to a realm gate, a magical portal that gives access to other realms. Of the sorcerer, there is no sign. So the realm gate is treated like a normal portal. You can open it if you wish to do so. Alternatively, you can end your quest and return to Cinderfall, content in the knowledge that the sorcerer's plot has been foiled for now. I oh, think so we don't come back. <laughs> and we can't go to the and come back. Sounds sensible because it would get rid of all your grievous wounds, though, wouldn't it? Can we come back to the, the house of an Argo, Ali? Um, I'll read it again. The realm gate is treated like a normal portal. You can open it if you wish to do so. Alternatively, you can end your quest and return to Cinderfall, content in the knowledge that the sorcerer's plot has been foiled for now. If you focus on that line, you can end your quest and return yeah, to yeah. Cinderfall. So Sounds I think like we don't come back here if we don't do, over, if we don't do that. 
Mm. Okay. I say we go and see what. Just a bit of door opening. Yeah. Yep. Go yeah. for it. I'm happy to go um, for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, then let's I, go. What have I got? Two sixes. You got two sixes. You could just unload your grudge ray go into the tunnel. Go, no, you sorcerer, you son of a bitch. You could open. You could <laughs> go and open the portal first, and then <laughs> I, yeah, I can't get to the portal. I've only got movement of three, haven't I? So, um, can I? What should I do? Should I just search the room I'm in or something, and leave someone that's got a sensible movement to open the realm gate? So, um, right, if, you, if you're deciding to open the portal, you can see that the realm gate leads to a chamber that glows with vibrant, lively energy. The chamber li clearly lies in Gairan and probably under the other half of the city of Hammerhall. You can choose to travel through the realm gate if all members of the party, including Archimane, are in the corridor leading to the realm gate in the end phase of the turn. Oh, OK, so we just have to get into the corridor. I'll tell you one move in. Yeah, I think that's sensible because I've got a stupid yeah. move. So if, if I just take one move in, please. Yep. We'll just bundle in there. That'll be our turn. Okay. Everyone get a couple of turns of searching and then in. hopefully yeah, someone okay. gets to you. Can I go another couple of spaces forward with my three, please? Just in yep. case someone only just makes it. Yep. yep. Thank you. And that, that'll do me, I think. You still got, you've got one six. You may as well search in that corridor. Oh, yep. Okay. It's a two. Oh. Okay. Right. Uh, Archimane, the Griff Hound. We'll just move into the corridor. Yeah, fine. And he moves five. So. Yeah. He, he can search, though, as well, can't he? So do you want to do two searches? He can search, but he can't keep anything he finds. No, exactly. He can, can to he can give it to you. Oh, I yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Th yeah, then he searches twice. Five and a four. Uh, I think okay. the oh, uh, yeah, the five landed first. I should have done that one at okay. a time. Okay. Yeah. Um, you still need to search your chamber, by the way. Heavy hint. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, here you go, Nick. One, four, and a four. Um, I will have. I can only move three, can't I? Yeah, you're going to need two moves to get into there. Okay, so I've got. The discarded six. Yeah. So I can search twice and then I can move twice. Yeah. Okay. So can I search twice and bottom one? Yeah. Oh, you get hey. six. Hey. Straight hey. away. What do Straight I find? Straight away. The searcher finds four treasure cards. They must give one oh. to each hero, including themselves. Oh, lovely. Wow. Right. <laughs> Very nice. Um, what have we got? So, bear with me one second. And you also get some gold, Nick, obviously, but I don't cool. think it's going to help you in any way. Oh, sorry, that's not one. You get five pieces of gold. Nice. But okay. I, think, I think where you're going, gold is not going to be, not going to help you. But we don't need roads. I yeah, need that's roads. it. I was about to say that. Uh, <laughs> treasure. Okay. <laughs> Shall I just deal them out randomly to you? Or do you no, want to I'd choose? Like to oh, actually, no, you should choose because it says you We find... should choose because that some yeah. will be, tra yeah. they'll have traits associated with them, won't they? So, we no, that's the out. skills. The skills have the traits. Oh, okay. Right. So, so, what have we got? You have got Drake Skin Cloak. Whilst you have this card, you can reroll saves of one for your hero. That's good. So, that shouldn't go to Andy because he can already do that. Yeah. Is that uh, discarded when it's used? No, it just says whilst you have this card. And you have. Okay, oh, so you re-roll saves of one. Yeah, for your hero. Okay. You yeah. have re-roll saves as well. Yeah, then you've got yeah. Restless Boots. While you have this card, add one to your hero's move. However, in each of your hero phases, your hero must make a move action. <laughs> okay, so you can't just stand there. Okay. Uh, then you've got Rune Master's Loop. Discard this card to convert an unsuccessful search roll into a successful one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you've got Amulet of Mist. You can discard this card at any point in your hero's turn. If you do so, for the remainder of the turn, your hero cannot be pinned and can move through adversaries as long as they end oh. their move in an empty space. They cannot make weapon actions. 
In addition, for the rest of the round, this hero cannot be wounded or stunned. Jesus. That's, you can't, and that's, you can't make a weapon. That's action. discarded, though, right? It's discarded, yeah, but it lets you yeah. free yourself up. You can't make a weapon action, though, <laughs> for that turn. Well, I think I think that one might be best. <laughs> Let's have a think about this. I would quite like the reroll ones to save. Mm-hmm. Because I don't, I can't re-roll anything at the moment in terms of saving, mm -hmm. and that makes the castle land really quite tanky. Um, any any takers for the plus one to move? Well, it sounds Ross? it sounds like a, a um, tax to have it, doesn't it? Am I just yeah? Saying... You have to move. Have to, you have to make a move. Why do you want that? Sorry, I mean, not I mean, someone's going to have it, but why would anyone actually? Okay, so let's let's think about that for a second. Who wants the auto search discard one? Any but, takers? Does, so, does, does, Ross needs the one who can escape, presumably. Or, yeah, or the no the pinning, because th uh, that would have saved us an awful lot of crap there. So I think, Ross, <laughs> would you like that? Yep, yeah, if that's the treasure sensible. that lets you not be pinned. Amulet yeah, okay. of Mist. Okay, Amulet of Mist of Ross. The other two are just terrible, so... I mean, no, they're not oh. terrible, but one's good, one's bad, so i maybe just roll off between... Can we just discard one there if, we don't, if you don't want it? I, I mean, I don't really... I mean, I don't really mind, but it's just... It seems pretty poor. Yeah, I wouldn't. But I don't mind it. Okay, well then, on a one, two, or three... And he gets the one that makes you move, but gives you plus one to your movement on a three, four, or five. Ask it to. Yeah, we've both got move of four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And moving so, more is, is always good. Yeah. So can you roll a dice, please, Ali? Yep. So uh, what do you want it to do? On a one, two, or three, yep. Andy will get the plus one to move, but he has to move. Yep. On a three, four, or five, uh, on a... Four, five, six. On a four, five, or six, sorry, Has gets it. Yep. Okay, the restless boots. It's a five. So Has gets it. Has gets restless boots. And so Andy gets the, the auto search to succeed. Uh, For the rest of my move, I will just move into the chamber, into the yeah. corridor. I've got one. That's yeah. two moves to get in there, is yeah. it? Yeah, and then one, two, well, yeah, that's it. And then can I use the discarded destiny dice to search that one as well? Uh, no, because you used the discarded one to make that first search. Oh, okay. And then I used two dice to get into there. Yeah, so you got one, so you one, got one, two, three. You so got I've got one, one dice left? You got one dice left, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Couldn't see the card. Okay, yeah, so I'll just use that to see if I can search that room. It's a five. Okay, cool. All right, okay. Um... Lawmaster Hass, I am the law. I didn't think I'd get to say that this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been three hours. I know, yeah. All right. Well, he can't even remember how the lawmaster works now. Go on. Right. Um, oh, so you're moving five now, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so I'll move in behind and he has the to move. Yeah. One, two, three, four. That's so not me. Move? That's not you, is it? That's not. I've forgotten what you look like. One, two, three, four. You burst forth from Redemir's portal into a chamber that is quite unlike the resplendent finery of the banqueting hall. In the distance, echoing down the tunnels towards you can be heard Lord Redemir's panicked shrieks, rallying his remaining cultists to repel the invaders. You must hurry. Doubtless the sorcerer is already planning his escape, and if he manages to evade your judgment, who knows what fresh horrors he may unleash upon Hammer Hall. And that's it, guys. That probably brings us nicely to the end of the evening. Uh, and you have found the Sorcerer's Lair, which is where you'll be fighting your way next week. Amazing. Now, yeah, there we go. That was uh, fighting tooth and nail. Uh, a few little mishaps along the way. Luck yes. was with you. At <laughs> times. Oh, at times, yeah. <laughs> A very generous okay. games master, I think, helped sway a few certain decisions. Yep. 
to, to make up for a oh, few yeah. ridiculous <laughs> dice rolls. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Okay. I, um, I, don't, I also, uh, Ross, I don't know if you were absent when we mentioned it. I read mm. the wrong um, ambush, sorry, not ambush table, an unexpected event table. All right. Uh, so you don't lose that skill that you had. Okay. That was for a different dungeon. My uh, my page book had fl flipped over, so you get your your skills back. Wow, what an end to an evening. The team managed to battle way through the auction house, um, getting to the sorcerer towards the end, battling their way through all the acolytes and all the blood uh, reavers, being whittled down from five to two members, limping along with Ross just sitting in the corner twatting people with his axe. Who would have thought? I hope you enjoyed um, this evening as much as we have playing it. Uh, certainly not going to stop up there because uh, the guys next week are going to have the biggest challenge they've ever faced. They're going down into the sorcerer's lair to try and finish this sorcerer once and for all. So thanks if you're still with us. Uh, we hope to see you next week where we will be concluding this final piece of the puzzle. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Catch you later.